Well, I've been helping help an <coughs> Alaska Help member find grants for car repair. And by the way, we have our own car repair grants that we give out to members. Uh, every month we give out like $15,000 uh, to members to help with car repair. But the government nonprofits give a hell of a lot more than we'll ever give. <laughs> and how do you find them? That's it. Well, this person was in Pennsylvania. So I went to 211.org for Pennsylvania and found 21 nonprofit organizations that help people with car repairs. See, you can't get out of debt if you don't have a car to go to work or, or take care of your family and stuff like that. So there's a lot of people uh, all around the country, nonprofit organizations, usually and some government offices that give grants for car repair now here's a here's a vehicle assistance program up to five hundred dollars for necessary repairs uh, for those who need a car to get to work okay sounds good <laughs> here's one that helps individuals and family with transportation costs including including car payments insurance payments car repairs gasoline vouchers bus passes and car seats. Man, that's the whole shoot match. Yeah? <laughs> now here's one, uh, interest-free loans <laughs> and cash gifts uh, and, and no credit check. See, that's the other thing. Community action agencies. Actually, community action agencies are a good place to start too. Uh, now this one is giving $2,000 uh, for a purchase and $1,000 for repair, okay? So you wanna get a car, you buy a car, they give you $2,000 grant uh, up front to buy a car <laughs> and you finance, I guess, the rest because you already have $2,000 or $1,000 repair. And that's all grant money you don't have to pay back. Now here, if you want to find the community action agency where you live, let's see if I get this right here. Yes, here it is. You want to go to communityactionpartnership.com, communityactionpartnership.com, and you put in your zip code and, and you find the community action agency there. Now, what you do, you can look on their website, but call them, please, 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 please. You call them. Now, let's go back to this list uh, that I got uh, you know, for the people in New York. Here's another one. Uh, focuses on assisting individual obtain and repair their own vehicles. And listen, the, the um, income level is up to 200% of poverty. I mean, that could be 50, 60, $70,000, depending on where you live. So you don't have to be destitute and living in the street. Uh, also, emergency assistance for not only gas shutoffs, back rent, security deposits, fuel needs, car repairs, <laughs> and water payments, uh, here's another we're going to say, just uh, unusual financial crisis that disrupts employment due to lack of transportation. There you are, okay? So uh, what they do is help you with transportation, whatever, to fix your car, give you everything you need, okay? Uh, here's another, prevent the termination or eviction as well as offer assistance for departing, but can also help with car repairs by purchasing a replacement parts, but they don't cover labor. So they buy the parts for you, but you can get the labor. So that's a good. Now, actually, there was another one in California. No, who was it? Uh, oh, here's one in, in uh, Wisconsin. They give a loan, $2,000 to buy a car. No credit check, <laughs> nothing, 0% interest. And nobody else is going to give you a loan, but they will. <laughs> they also have $1,600 for uh, repair. Okay, and, and that, that's at Wisconsin. Here's California, and this is what they do. Uh, they'll give you $1,200 to pass the admissions test if you can't make it, but you pay 20%. So if it costs 1,000 bucks, they'll give you 800 and you pay 200. See, that's the kind of help that's out there. Now, it takes work on your part. You just can't put, go to Google and put car repair grants. You'll never find this stuff. You have to go to the places that really only give you places that give you money, not get your money. Like uh, Google wants to get your money so they, the advertisers uh, get money from you and they pay Google. See, now here's the places that go to these places for transportation. 211.org and put in transportation for your zip code. Findhelp.org, put in transportation and put in your zip code. And also uh, the, what was that? Okay, communityactionpartnership.com.
and contact them. Call them up. Call up your local community action agency and ask them for help. And all the other ones for two on one and, and find help. Call those organizations. Don't assume that you know what they say. No. You call up and say, hey, I need help. My car's stuck and I can't take care of my family. Okay, that's all you have to say. And see what they say and they'll get you somebody that may help you, may not. And if they don't help you, then ask them, hey, where else could you think I could go? Because they're in the business of helping people in trouble like you. So they talk to hundreds of people every day, you know, and they know most of the program. Now they're not going to everyone. That's why you have to make many phone calls to do this, not just one and hope you'll make a winner. You may, <laughs> a lot of people do, <laughs> but don't count on it because then you'll quit and you can't quit. The name of this game is not quitting, but keep Keep calling, keep calling, keep calling. And that's what Let's Go Help does. Uh, Let'sGoHelp.com is $20 and we give you sources until you're coming out your ears, until you get, until you get what you need. Uh, we train you and everything and, it's, and we give out our own grant, $70,000 every month just to members. Now that I'm really proud of. I mean, we've given out over half a million dollars already. We're just a little company. We barely make more than that. <laughs> so thank you again for letting me help you and I can't wait to help as many people as I can before I die.